Notion versus Todoist versus Evernote. Which one is better for project management? Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you which one is better for project management and it is basically a comparison between Notion, Todoist and Evernote. So let's get into it. As you know, these three are project management platforms in which you can go on and manage everything of your life. You can basically add your projects, you can add your teams, you can, uh, you can use it for your education for your work or also for your personal use so which one is better you know it's a very long debate each one has its own pros and cons and something is difficult in one platform and which is easier in the other but given uh, overall every uh, each of these platform is basically uh, gets the job done so first of all i'm going to show you the basic dashboard of each one of these and then we'll continue by adding a project in each one of the platform and i will show you which one is uh, basically easier and which one is better and which one has what perks so let's see first of all i have notion here and as you can see this is the main dashboard of notion and this is basically the project that i have created earlier and it is basically gives the science project and now i have to these are the my to do's i can basically write a project brief i can schedule team offsite. i can build admin console draft launch blog post brainstorm on share menu and come up with the naming ideas this is basically the project uh, all the projects are going to be here and you can add a page if you want to my quick notes are going to be here and then this is my personal home and everything that i have is going to be here you can just go on and you can check each of these out this is basically my personal home my movie list recipes and everything then i have a task list if you want if you want to keep a track of your tasks so if you want to create a to do then you can just go on and uh, you know continue building the task list like use this template to track your personal tasks i'm just going to click on new and as you can see i'm going to build a task list for myself you can create date created and everything is going to be here then you have your journal you can basically jot down everything that happened today or uh, everything that it will happen uh, any special events uh, if your everyday activities you can add that in your journal then you have your reading list and and then you have your calendar you can add different pages if you want to then you have different templates view and clone templates into your workspace you know if you want to add a specific project like if you want to design your task you can see there's a roadmap there is designing system if you are a student if you are you want to use it for personal uh, you know needs if you are into marketing human resources you can find different templates and you can basically use them to make your to-do lists and your notes and your roadmaps and everything so let's go on to to-do list and let's see what's happening here so how experienced are you with your productivity apps i'm just going to say i'm a beginner i'm just going to continue okay so now you need to upload your photo and uh, add a name i'm just going to skip this process for a while and as you can see this is the dashboard of todoist and as you can see today learn the basics with easy uh, add all my personal tasks and do a weekly review of my tasks so this is basically the today of right now you can add different tasks in your today and you at the end of the day you can see how many of them have you achieved you can add your upcoming tasks that are going to be here you can add the tasks and and you can add a date to them and they're going to be here and you can keep a track of them your inbox is going to be here like if someone has um, added something if someone has connect uh, commented on something if someone has uh, sent you a message or something you can you are going to see it right here then your main projects are going to be here like this is basically your personal and the, your projects are going to be here you can add a project like um uh, uh, if you have like uh, like if you're a student and you're using it for personal use you can add a project like my um my thesis or something like that that uh, you want to do or you can add like your routines you can see you do, do a weekly review of my task and those vacuum clean all rooms add a more personal outline pay taxes yearly and this bin and whatever so you can just go on and add that and this is basically your home you can uh, choose the menu from here and you can uh, close uh, basically open the menu close the menu from here and also you can add a task from up here as well and the productivity is going to show itself here productivity set your goals you can see the tangible process and your notification bar and this is your this is you this is your profile so this is basically what happens on to do is let's go on evernote okay so here you can see this is basically the dashboard of evernote and this is basically your uh, menu and this is where your first notebook and this is where your uh, you know text is going to be everything that you write in 
and this is basically your notes start here to get no and these are your reminders if you have set any reminders like if you have an upcoming task an upcoming deadline it's going to be here so you can basically create different shortcuts your recent notes the ones that you have opened recently are going to be here you have your notebooks and then you have your tags onboarding to do's and new tag and you have your share with me right here so as you can see uh, everything is very precise and also everything is very uh you know uh in one line and very um you know detailed as well so you can just go on and uh, choose the thing that you want to look at you can just go on and choose that from the menu and you're good to go you can see the your tasks right here and my tasks assigned notes and due dates are going to be here so it is very easy to keep a track of everything this is your profile you can change that account settings and everything and this is basically your settings are going to be here so you can just see that there appearance you can continue uh, you know you can just go on and choose the dark mode if you want to and it's very easy for the eyes you can basically add your calendar your sidebar your notes your notebook and tasks your preferences uh evernote links images preview single page etc your devices and your connected apps are also going to be here so you can just go on and check everything out and you can continue with evernote and you can uh, just go on and continue with building your tasks and your project management is going to be so easy so let's add a task in each one of them and see uh, what's basically more easy so if you go on to uh, i'm back on notion right now and i'm going to add a page i'm going to basically add a project i'm going to add a page right here and this is going to be my new project so i'm just going to add let's say this is my thesis please enter to continue with the empty page or pick a template you can pick a template as well let's see what templates they have uh, I'm just going to I'm just let's say I'm a student and I'm going to job application great calculator club homepage reading list thesis planning okay so this is my thesis planning uh, they have a template for that and as you can see this is the template make this your home page uh, timeline you have chapter 2 draft you have chapter 3 draft and everything so I'm just going to use this template right here okay so make this homepage for planning and writing a thesis or dissertation keep all your notes sources up okay so this is good i'm just going to remove this because this is not necessary now i'm just going to you know remove this whole thing and i'm going to remove this as well okay so now first of all you have topics and then you have your sources and notes i'm just gonna you can go on to each one of them like your sources and notes are gonna be here recycled polyester uh this is basically what they have added you can just uh, go on and change that uh and make them uh, your own sources and notes i'm gonna go back and you can see your topics are going to be here then you have your timeline and your dates the first of uh, your exploration and idea you can open in the side peak and you can see what is basically happening right here then you have your primary and secondary research the status is done the notes are empty and sources are empty you can uh, basically add things in that then you have your primary and secondary research you can open it in the side peak as well and you can see your dates and status and overview and everything you can add a property if you want to and you can add a comment and press enter to continue with an empty page you can basically expand it if you want to switch to peak mode and you can basically side peak center peak and full page you can basically uh, uh, close that from this option right here then the total count is two and the calculator of your work is uh, gonna be here you can they, you can calculate all the values you can add different things like i want to add uh, something that is this is basically the calendar uh, this is your calendar right here and it is going to mark all the important dates and deadlines that you have and then you have one more right here what what is it then you have your drafts if you have any drafts with you uh with you if you have something that you have just drafted and you uh, it is not ready to upload you can just save it in your drafts and you can basically work on it later on so as you can see everything is quite easy but you have to do a lot of things like everything uh, is not out there you have to add it yourself you have to make it yourself and it looks really empty and it is not also very attractive looking so let's go on to to do is and here you can see you can basically add a project let's say i want to add a project and the name is again thesis and now the color you can change the color if you want to i want to add a magenta color you can add to my favorites okay now you what view do you want you want a board or you want a list i want a list and i'm going to click on add okay so my task is added and i'm gonna click on add task and now you can add different tasks like um the it doesn't give you a template so it is quite difficult to go on and add everything you have to add everything yourself use natural language okay got it i'm just going to say that this is task name is basically um 
project exploration and I, I can set a due date for that uh, let's say it is right uh, 5 January is the due date and now it is a selected project it is in thesis and it is important I'm going to click on add task okay so my project exploration has been added now I can add on different tasks and I can add different descriptions for them and uh, they're good to go now I can share them or I can view them from right here and I can also basically change them if you want to like import from template so they have some templates let's see okay so they're uh, they don't have a template but you can upload a template in this uh, if you have if you want to and export as a template duplicate project email and everything so this is everything uh, it is easy to use but it is also very you know empty and you don't get templates you have to do all by yourself but if you want to add different sections if you want to add different things then it is also it is very great to use like um you you get a, a lot of command on different things here so you can just go on and do that and you can continue with todoist let's see on evernote so this is basically evernote if you want to add a new project in evernote you just have to uh, the option of new right here uh attachment sketch or task okay let's say i want to have a new task right here okay so enter task let's say it is my thesis if you want to change it to, uh, tomorrow and then so you have one hour you have uh, in four hours and then you have your flag and you can just go on and create tasks so it is going to be in your uh, things to do i'm just going to go on here and you will see your thesis task right here so this is how basically you add tasks right here but you cannot uh, you cannot access a lot of things in evernote like you can uh, not add deadlines if you're not using the paid version so it is important that you use the paid version so each one of these have different uh, things uh, and different uh, uh, you know pros and cons so you can continue with the one that suits you the best i gave you a quick overview of all of them so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video take good care and bye bye